Hey there, greetings to you. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, V Love and Tarot. It's been a while since I've recorded a pick a card. I've been so, so busy. But I've been keeping up with my live streams. So if you want free readings, paid readings, check out my live streams. I try to do them daily. So this pick a card reading is on who's coming next in love for you, who's coming towards you in love. We have a Barbie theme here. Pal one, we have the Babby Gal Kipper. And it's an Oracle deck based on the actual Kipper system with 14 extra love cards. So you can use it as a Kipper deck or you can use it as a love Kipper deck. You can also just uh, use it with just the love cards, but then you'll just have a little bit of them however you wish. So that's the power number one. Power number two, you have the Barbie deck here. Barbie tarot. And pile number three, you have another Barbie tarot. So I'm really excited to see what comes through. Thank you so much for spending time with me. If you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. Who's coming next in love? I'm also going to be putting in the Where Will You Meet Them with my other deck. This is called the Where or Where deck. I'm going to see what comes through for each pile and where you will meet this person. Let's dive in. Pile 1, Pile 2, Pile 3. Timestamps are below, of course, in addition to all the decks I will be using. All right, let's get started. Pile 1, you're first. Hello, Pile number 1. Hope you're doing great. We're using the ba Babby Girl, Babby Gal, Kipper deck. And let's see what comes of your reading. Let's see who this person is coming next in love. Who's this person coming towards you in love? Who's coming towards you in love? Who's coming towards you in love? Pile number awesome one. Who's coming towards you in love? Okay, you have someone who's very successful. Someone who could be an entrepreneur. Maybe they've had they have an inheritance. Maybe they have um, a good way of making money. Side hustles. They can be someone who likes to take or invest in stocks gamble, etc. Come from a very wealthy upbringing, perhaps. Okay, this person knows how to save money. This person could be an entrepreneur. Who's coming next in love for you? Pound number one. Um, yeah, pound number one. Gift, surprise, proposal, very generous, abundant. They like to shower with gifts. Show love with gifts. Interesting. Family room, visits, closeness, personal space. So this is someone who could be very family oriented. Someone who has children perhaps. Or they want children. They can come from a big family. <laughs> there you go. Come big family. Out with friends. Very sociable. Advice, gossip, support, support system. <laughs> okay, more people here. Privileged women. Wealth, beauty, comfortable lifestyle. Same thing. That's the same thing. We're basically having this rich energy, which is this person is very, um, <clears throat> you have birthday too, new age, celebration, special occasion. This person lives a very wealthy lifestyle, fancy. Um, they probably like to go out to eat a lot. They probably love to wine and dine and, and travel and spend money on luxurious things. This person could be also very good at saving money, too. I think there's a balance. I know how to save money and know how to spend money. It's a nice balance. I'm just giving that with this gift. Generosity. It's not just spend, 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 me, me, me. It's more, it's like, hey, I have enough to offer. I have enough to give. I can share. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna pull some... Princess Love Dream cards. This one's retiring. You won't see it any longer. We have a few left if you want a copy. Check out my website, babyapes.com. All my decks are on there, including this Barbie, Bobby girl. Bobby gal one. Alright. <clears throat> why is this... Why is this sudden wealth here? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this sudden wealth here? Why is this sudden wealth here? For who's coming next in love? I'm also going to describe their looks and personalities, signs, traits, 
if that stuff wants to come out, their age, all that fun stuff. Let me just do the clarifiers. Why is it sudden wealth here for, for your person? Ballroom dance, cooperation, synchronization, and compatibility. So which one stands out the most? I'm going to say <clears throat> cooperation, generosity, very giving energy. And that's what we talked about. It's like that this person has enough to share, enough to give. I like it. Okay, let's see. Why is a gift here? Yeah, giving gifts. Opening their home. They could be good at hosting. Healing, spiritual harmony. Spiritual harmony. Surprise, proposal, resources. So this person is... Uh, their energy radiates positive... Positivity. Their energy radiates kindness. Love, compassion, empathy. Very healing energy for you. They are a gift to you. They are a gift in disguise. A blessing in disguise. Com coming to you at the right time. You guys meeting at the right time. Divine time. Why is the family room here? Why is the fam family room here? Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. Not oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> family room. Family. Coexisting traditions, relationship harmony. This person is very family oriented. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade. <laughs> let's just tell you like it is. It's just basically let's clarify. This person is very 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 warm, open, inviting. It's like they open their heart, their home to their loved ones, to their friends, people who they're really really cool with, who they uh vibe well with you know if you're someone who is positive and fun and outgoing and warm and inviting just like they are they ba they they basically would love to be in your company they will open up to you open doors up to you who's coming towards you in love treasure chest spiritual gifts again valuable assets yeah so that you're getting more treasure more gifts so very generous towards their loved ones, family. They probably, maybe they pay their family's bills. Maybe they shelter their family, like give them a home. Or they let their families come stay with them from time to time. Very privileged, very wealthy, yes. Water fountain, flow of consciousness, rejuvenation. So this person is just, you know, the heart space is very um, mature and open and vulnerable. So this person is just, I, I like them. They're okay in my book. They're okay in my book. All right, let's see who this person is when it comes to physicality of it all. Please, Spirit, tell me what do they look like. Anything want to come through? Their sign, personality, the traits, hair color, skin tone, etc. Anything want to come through? Thank you, Spirit. What does this person look like? Drunkard, alcoholism, addiction, avoidance, abuse. Okay, this is someone who likes to do something in excessive amounts. So it doesn't mean that they're a drunk. Maybe they like to gamble, spend a lot of money. This is something they have a personal guilty pleasure that they do <clears throat> on this side. For fun, with friends who are also in the same boot. Cla Whoa, clown, ingester of laughter, comedy, mask, performer. So this is someone who has a personality, who's the jokester, sense of humor, fun to be around, never a dull moment. Someone who's like the light of the room, guide, navigator, progress, direction. Yeah, I'm getting like boss type of energy. Someone very like innovative. The, the, the guider, yes, the leader, the supervisor. Embrace of madness, frenzy, chaos, unruly possession. They could be very possessive over their loved ones. Very protective. <clears throat> Not pos possessive like, you're mine, I'm Tarzan. More like, I, I take my family, my friends seriously. You cross them, you cross me. Very protective. Four of Pentacles. Employee, worker, service, consultation. I don't like that, that person. I don't know why they included that, such a face in this deck. And last two. 
children, yeah, they could want children. Maybe they have children. Maybe they come from a big family. Maybe they have lots of nieces and nephews. Maybe they're good with kids. Maybe they have a youthful energy. Writer, weaver of tales, storyteller, crafting, communication, polishing. Okay, so very creative. All right. No signs wanted to come through. Sorry. No sign. Yeah, very serving. Look at that. Serve, yeah, has hospitality. We talked about that with the family room and the people. Okay, yeah, 40s. And yeah, boss. There you go. There you go. Games. So this person coming towards you in love. They have a lot to do, a lot to say. Driver coming towards you in love. There you go. So this person has a lot to offer you, I will say. Yes, boss. Wow, I like that. That's like saying... I'm ready to man up, I'm ready to take charge, I'm ready to lead the way. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to do where will you meet this person, and then we're going to do some messages for those who are in no contact. If you're looking for that type of uh, reading, that will be with my other cards. Alright, where will you meet this person here on the table? Thank you, Spirit. Salon, okay, a place where you get serviced, you get beautified, you get your hair's done, hair done, your nails done, manicure, pedicure. Maybe you get your your uh, beard cut. I mean, your beard shaved if you're a guy. You have place of worship, so something very religious. It can be a spiritual retreat. It can be a, a church, a place where you meditate, bookstore. With learning where you can find learning tools and aquarium. You also have tattoo. So these are your options. It can be different for everyone. Maybe one is just resonating with you right now, but these are different options for who, whoever's watching, different reading. I'm sorry, different people watching, general reading here. If you want something more specific, I do have uh, personal readings over on my website, babyaves.com. All right, this is what I got for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. Let's see what messages want to come through for those who are in no contact without falling of the cards please thank you spirit messages for those who are in no contact all right let's do it painted love dreams painted love dreams okay messages for those who are in no contact this is the portion of reading you for those of you who uh, are looking for those messages for those of you who haven't contacted your person, you haven't heard from them, what would they like to tell you? Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's see what's going on. Okay, my angel, you forgot your wings tonight. They miss your naughty side. They miss your, uh, your impulsive, spontaneous side. Now I'm left with just a memory. A lot of memories of you, thoughts of you, play through my mind. Romance often fades. Why should I take the blame? So it's like saying, it's not my fault that this romance didn't last or that the connection wilted. You know, it takes two. We're at the point of no return. There's no going back. I don't know if I want to go back. Uh, you've been caught. All right, so this is what I've got. Thank you for watching. You take care. I'll see you in the next video, I hope. And please share this video with your friends and family. I'm trying to grow this community. Take care. Greetings. Hello. Thank you for choosing power number two for who's coming next in love. Who's coming towards you in love. All right. Let's dive in. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, please subscribe. Thank you for returning. If you're not new. And if you are looking for a personal reading, check out my website, babyapes.com. I'm also doing live streams. I do free readings, paid readings every day, every other day. Depends on my schedule. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Pile number two. Who's coming next in love for you? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Who's coming next in love for you? Pile number two. Messages for your highest good. Facts for your highest good. Intuitive messages. Intuitive tidbits for your highest good. Thank you, pile two. Please come describe this person coming towards you. You have the seven of swords. No, excuse me, seven of wands. No, seven of wands. Who's coming towards you? Five of Cups, who's coming towards you in love. Pound number awesome. Uh, two, who's coming next in love for you? Okay, very cool. 
Very cool, very cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do for you too, part number two, is we're gonna clarify and we're also gonna do the who. See who this person's characteristics, looks, personality traits, all that fun stuff. See if any of those wanna come through for you to help me describe them. But And then we're also gonna do the where will you meet them deck with my where or where deck. And we're gonna clarify, but for right now we're gonna clarify with the other Barbie deck here, Barbie Kipper. Barbie gal kipper. All right, so seven of wands is here. So this is someone who's coming towards you with um, motivation. Like they feel like they, they can win you over. They feel like they have a chance. They feel like they're uh, standing out from the crowd. You have the five of cups. This person, um, this person is missing out on love or missing love, wanting you. There could be some kind of. Um, um, uh, I don't know, like a, a delay, a, a, a setback, um, disconnect, detached energy. This person could be missing you right now. I, I, I'm, hmm. If this, okay, for some, this is a general reading, right? For some of you, this is someone who's already in your life, who has been for a little while. For others of you, this is someone who's missing out on love. They really want it. They feel thirsty for it. They're passionate. Their cup is full with Ova, King of Cups. They've been waiting for love for the longest. Nine of Pentacles. They've been single for the longest. If you're with someone, it's kind of like, it's kind of, it's it's sort of like they feel like they're alone. They feel like they're single because you guys are not like living together, or in the same city, clashing clashing schedules keep you apart. Um, waiting for the next moment to share with you, but they they feel like they you know they they're ready to keep going. They're ready to level up with you. They're ready to see what. The future holds. They're not giving up. So however it resonates, we're all in different places in our journey and in our relationships. Alright. Why is the seven of ones here? This is the Barbie Gal. Keep a deck if you want your copy. Check out my website, babyapes.com. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Wands? Family room, visits, closeness, personal space. So this person's fighting to get you guys closer. Fighting to get you guys um on a on the same schedule in the same city, same township, same same uh same page. How can we spend more life to get more spend more time together? How can we uh, mesh our schedules so that we're on we're in sync? But you know we're we're doing the same dance. You know not we're not two sh uh, ships sailing in the night, which is the three of wands. I don't want to be a ship sailing in the night with you. I want to be us on the same ship going towards the same ocean. <laughs> All right, so beautiful. Okay, five of cups, why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? You have house, wow, a lot of like family energy, home energy, so this person wants to spend time with you. Heck, you know what, I'm gonna put this on top. I don't wanna cover the top of this card, this, this deck is beautiful. Okay, so this person's feeling like they, they want to share home with you, they want to come together with you, they, don't want, they want to have you over, they want to break bread with you, they want to share their space with you, okay? So this is someone who has a, a, a missing, a longing for you. Stability, property, security. Yeah, they want you near them. It makes them feel like, okay, I got my person with me. I got my person. Why is the King of Cups here? Privileged woman, okay. Privileged man, wealth, beauty, com comfortable lifestyle. This person, uh, very loving, very attentive, very caring, family oriented, even father, mother. So this is a very rich uh, thinking person, like they have a rich mind. Maybe they also, like what I mean, they like to find things in life. Nine of Pentacles, um, very classy. They like... They deserve the best of the best. They don't settle for, they don't settle for slim pickings or they don't cut across on the corners. They don't like tolerate too much. They don't settle. They know that they, they know their worth is what this is saying. Privileged, yes. Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Waiting, waiting. Oh gosh, seriously, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You're so look, main male. King of Cups, main male lover, masculinity, main focus of attention. This person likes attention, maybe big ego, big head. They uh, 
just very... I don't know, I'm just kidding, this person is very needed, very wanted in his or her community. Community. Uh, this person could be a, a, a leader. This person seems like a leader. This person seems like a family man, family woman. Open, opening up the arms, waiting for the family to come home for the holidays. This person could want children, have children, come from a big family, or they just, yeah, just very family oriented. So why is the Three of Wands here? The Three of Wands is waiting for the ships to sail in, waiting for something. When are you going to stop by? When are you going to come for like a few days? When am I going to see you? I want to be a host. I want to host you. Long distance yearning, time apart, difficult goodbye. See, this is what I'm saying. Three of Swords. Is that Three of Swords? No, Five of Cups. Yeah, missing you, longing you, craving you, wanting to, to see you next. When? When can we? When? When will we? Exactly what we were saying, and it's coming out again. All right, Nine of Pentacles. It's kind of like they feel like they're single when you're not around. Not saying that they're, like, dating a thousand people. They just feel like there's a lack, lack, there's a loss in their heart, and they want to bridge that loss, to bridge that gap, bring you closer. They also don't like saying goodbye to you when you have to go home or when they have to go home. So this is someone who's missing you deeply. Now, if this is a person that you're dating <clears throat> or you're going to date soon, you guys might have a long-distance connection. Long distance. That's what we're talking about. I feel like there's a detachment, a distance energy. So this person, you might have like some kind of... um. Commute, or you guys might be in different cities, like I said, clashing schedules, busy life. It says comfortable lifestyle. It's very comfortable, but it's also very busy. How can we fit each other in? Nine of Pentacles, you know, live in that luxurious, single, independent life. Innocence, naivete, childhood. So they can have children, like we talked about. They can have children, they can want children, come from a big family, etc. Maybe they have childlike. Uh, uh, tendencies, sudden wealth. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, my friend. Family, honeymoon. So, occupation. They work hard for their money. They work hard. So this is like someone who, they have their life put together. They're just missing that one piece, which is you. Alright, so let's see who this person is. Uh, if you're looking for any of these decks, um, actually this top row, I don't think the lady sells it anymore. I mean, it is patented, so copyright stuff, you know, so I'm not sure. Um, yeah, she's, I don't think she's some. This one is called the Bobby Gal Oracle Kipper Deck. So this is for sale. It's on my website, babyaves.com. All right, let's get into the characteristics, shall we, for you, for your person, part number two. They could be blonde. They could be a very fair skin, light hair. Um, they taking suntans, though. They tan well. Uh, they could also, so for some of you, there's someone who uh, it looks like they could be biracial, Latin, Hispanic, but don't hold me to that because we, we are just talking about, I just see Barbie stuff, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Although my deck is more diverse, but anyway, that's besides, that's, let's, let's get to the, to the main course of the meal. Main course meal, okay, tell me about this person. Who is your person? Ace of Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Wahoo, we have a sign. Okay. Seven of Wands too, right? Educator, imparter, mentor, guider, teacher. Yeah, this person could be someone who very well, like very demanded at his job or in the home front. Someone who hosts the family. We kind of got a similar message in pile one, but I'm not going to like talk too much about another pile. I don't know. I know people don't like that. Engineer, architect of solutions, engineering practice, problem solver, complex systems, technology. This is someone who likes to brainstorm, problem solve, and they have a lot to tell you, a lot to say. They also want to fight for you. They want to fight for you. Researcher, educator, very good at researching, very good at um, learning, teaching. Okay, so this is what I got for you. 40s as well. So we got to age. Let's see where you're going to meet this person, shall we? Wait, where may, where or where? This is my where or where deck, also for sale on my website. Where will you meet this person? Pound number awesome too. 
Tell me, look, it is for Thank you so much. Tell me, look, it is. Well, where will you meet this person? This It's going to be different for uh, all of you because we're in different places. Um, we have different routines. So choose which one it seems more realistic for yourself. Which place do you go to the most? All right, let's see. Where will you meet this person? Card number two. Pet store. Where will you meet the person? This person is coming towards you. Pharmacy. Where will you meet this person? Two more cards. Museum. Oh, research. Museum. Okay, I get a theme. Research, education, museum. So some somewhere educational, maybe school, a museum, uh, um, uh, some kind of exhibit, um, a field trip, an event. Okay, and you got tattoo parlor. I also got body, by the way. Where is it? Oh, crap. You got travel and adventure. I think you guys are going to be long distance or you guys are going to have some kind of uh, commute full body and then you have tattoo part so they can have like tattoos on their body they could want tattoos and again i'm getting 40s when i cut the deck so something about their body you have the beach too all right and the farmer's market underneath so that's what i got for you i hope this makes sense you have a wonderful day if this uh resonated at all even just like two percent of it let me know about it in the comments i really would love to know Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. We're going to head on to pile number three. Well, pile number three, you chose the Barbie Tarot, the second Barbie Tarot that I owned. I didn't create this, and I don't think it's for, I don't think the person sells this anymore. All right, let's dive into you, pile number three. Let's dive into your person who's connecting to your energy, pile number three, pile number three. Who will you meet? Okay. Who's coming towards you, Ace of Swords? Who's coming towards you? In love, part of with awesome three peeps. Join me for live streams. I do them every day or every other day. Paid readings, free readings. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for being here. Pile number awesome three. Who's coming towards you, pile three? Whoever chose this pile, pile three for messages for your highest good. Thank you, spirit. Temperance. Who's coming towards you, pile number three? Nine of wands. Who's coming towards you, pile three? The Emperor, one last card, who's coming towards you, pile three. Ten of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Okay. I wonder, do you work with this person? Hmm. Or you, maybe you work well with this person. Wheel of Fortune, making money. A lot of uh, money cards came out for each of the piles, interesting enough. You have Wealth, Privilege, you know, you got Wheel of Fortune, the Pentacles, ten of them. Alright, let's see what's going on. Let's move you up. All right, we're gonna use the bar, the Bobby Gal, Bobby Gal Kipper deck. This is from my shop. Ace of Hats. Why is the Ace of Hats here? Why is Why is the Ace of Hats here for you, dear? dear? What is Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Swords coming out for who? Who's coming towards you in love? This one wants to come through. Occupation. Yeah, I think you guys might uh, work together. That's exactly what I was picking up on with the Three of Pentacles underneath the deck. Uh, three, three flowers, three pentacles, ten of pentacles. So you might work with this person. If it's not the case, then they go to your place of work. You go to their place, place of work. You guys bump, in, bump into each other while you're on break from work, after work, after hours, on the bus, going home from work, etc., etc. The other thing could be that maybe you guys work well together. You brainstorm and you guys just, you're in sync. Ace of Swords with the working together, cooperation, freelance, creative work, self-employment. So working well, um, someone who's on the same page, maybe you guys think the same way too, very harmonious work. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Thoughts, okay, so more thinking. Contemplation, meditation, preoccupation. This person thinks about you often, frequently. They, it's kind of like they're blending you in with their life. Okay, I'm going to work. Oh, but I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, I'm paying my bills. Oh, you pop in my mind, pal. Three. Who's coming towards you? Someone who could be very logical, too. I see this emperor with a sword in his hand. 
message. Yeah, so messages come through, thoughts, uh, unexpected thoughts just, you know, popping through. This person has a lot to tell you. They can be very chatty Cathy, very sociable. Ple pleasant news, information, correspondences, someone who is very mental. Not like that, but like just, you know, always, always planning ahead, thinking, strategizing, problem solving, stimulating conversations. Okay, why is the emperor here? Stability, yeah, the emperor is very stable and disciplines, right? Emperor, stability, security, property, yeah, same thing. So this person that's coming towards you is someone who wants stability in a relationship. Someone who wants a happy home, stable home, something to look forward to. They want their person. They're looking for their, their, their counterpart. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Toil and labor. See, more jobs. Wow, what more work. Gift, surprise. You might receive an offer or compliments, a medal, success, graduation. You might, yeah, you might receive some kind of like accolade, a high five, a congratulations. Like, wow, you're doing great. You just started, great job. Or you've been here for a while. Here's your, re your reward. Here's your accolade. Here's your acknowledgement. Here's your promotion. Here's your recommendation. I don't know. Manual work, low wage, monotonous obligation with occupation, freelance, creative work, self-employment. So yeah, you something about having to do with work. So maybe somebody's got googly eyes at work. Fair complexion. Tell me what they look like. This is my Who deck mixed in with another beautiful character deck, but the Who deck is for sale as well as, well as my Barbie uh, Kipper. Links are below, babyace.com. All right, let's see. Employee, okay. We're, we're freaking repeating ourselves. Worker, service, consultation. <clears throat> Who's this person that is coming towards you in love? Painter, depict, sublimate, sublimate, abstraction, form, sensation. Someone who works with their hands. Are they a boss? I don't know. They do something with their hands. Look at that, barber. Artist, trimming, beautification, adornment, fashion. Soldier, guardian, loyalty, honor, integrity, self-service, and spontaneous. Thank you, spirit. This is someone who serves. Someone who also could be like uh, the, the leader of, of a, a group. All right, let's see. Where will you meet this person? And I'm going to, you know, for this pile, I didn't do it with pile two, but for you, pile three, we're going to do messages from your future lover because this seems very, like, I don't know. I feel, it seems like there will be some kind of harmony. Like, you guys will work well together with all this, all these pentacles. Work well in the workplace, but also in the romantic department. Where will you meet this person? Where? Bookstore. Body shop. Salon. <laughs> okay, you got two of those. And recovery center. Like AA meeting, a place where you're getting healing. Look at that salon. There you go. So it looks like somewhere where you get something done or you get, yeah, you, you get your card done, you get your nails done, your hair done. A place where you get serviced, your car gets serviced, etc. Body shop. So you guys probably work together. They go to your work, you go to their work, that you guys meet at work. I don't know. This is different for, for everybody. Okay, so this is my wedding of my dreams deck. Let's see messages from your future lover, your future spouse. If you want me to do a, uh, a reading on the future spouse messages, what they are like, etc., let me know and I, I will be happy to oblige. Okay, let's see. Part number three messages from your future spouse. <clears throat> I prayed for true love. You exceeded my expectations. Wow, deep. I feel safe and at peace waking up in your arms. I will always inspire you and boost you up. Last one. They said we wouldn't make it. Look how far we've come. Wow, deep. Oh, you know what? I want to put one right here. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Distance only makes me appreciate you more. Speaking of distance, part two, that's, that's all we talked about for like the past like 15 minutes. That was pretty wild. All right. Thank you for watching. You take care. I'll see you in the next video. Much love.